Hello Army! Welcome to today's special edition of the Inside Adult In Quiz where we are celebrating the 6th anniversary of BTS's debut. Yay! But before we begin, as it is customary, let us all do the fan chant. Are you ready? Okay, let's get it. Kim Nam Jun, Kim Sok Jin, Min Yoong Gi, Jung Ho Sak, Park Ji Min, Kim Tae Hyun, Jun Jung Guk, BTS! Woo! And hey, unless you're living under a rock, you all know who BTS are. Phang Thanh, Son Yeondan, or Bulletproof Boy Scouts are a seven-member group from South Korea who have taken over the world with their music, their amazing performances, and most importantly, their message of love and self-acceptance. Today is 13th June, which marks the sixth year since BTS's debut in 2013. And to celebrate, we are hosting this wonderful Deba quiz. This quiz itself is very easy to play. I am going to ask you seven questions about BTS. Every question has four options. And all you have to do is click on the right answer. If you answer all seven questions, you get to win from a split pot prize of 20,000 rupees of Insider Stash. It will be credited to your Insider account and you can use it to buy tickets to movies and all kinds of cool events. But you know we had to make this quiz bigger than that, right? So, we are actually giving away 10 BTS albums. That's right, 10 winners will be picked at random and you will win physical copies of a BTS album. Also, if you get one answer wrong, don't worry, I got you fam. You can use a life to stay on in the game. And how do you get a life? Just share this quiz on Facebook and Twitter and you can get a life. It's that simple. So, chalo, shuru kare. Cholo firle lo Lord Jinsus ka naam. And here we go, go, go. Here is your first question. Who calls himself Pornation Parapio? BTS members have so many nicknames and armies keep adding names too. For example, J Move, J Dope, Bread Genie, Justin Seeger, Yon Ki Min, Tay Tay, Chim Chim, Lil Miu Miu, Cookie, Mochi. And of course, this Pornation Parapio. Sometimes these nicknames have meanings. For example, Jimin is called Mochi because fans think his cute cheeks remind him of the soft Japanese desert. Suga himself calls his alter ego August D. The first, letter, the first four letters are, of course, the reversed version of Suga. That's A-G-U-S is S-U-G-A. And the T-D is standing for the underground rap group that he had been part of before debuting with BTS. That group's name was D-Town. But who called himself Pernation Parapio? And the correct answer is RM. In an episode of Bon Voyage, when Jin asks him, what's your name? He says, Pernation Parapio. All right, then let's move on to the next question now. The song Born Singer is a remake of which singer's song? Born Singer is a very special song for BTS and for ARMY because it speaks about the journey of the seven boys from nothing to where they are today. The song speaks about their struggles both external and internal and also speaks about how much love they receive from armies around the world. In fact, the song is so emotional that during its live performance, it was difficult for even BTS to hold back their tears. But which singer performed the original song? And the answer is J. Cole. His song is called Born Sinner and ironically was released in 2013 as well. And with that, we will swiftly move on to the next question. Which two BTS members appeared as backup dancers in Joe Kwon's I'm the One? During their pre-debut days as trainees under Big Hit Entertainment, members of BTS used to do small appearances as background dancers to other musicians. Joe Kwon is a singer and in 2012, he was signed under Big Hit Entertainment. So, for his music video of I'm the One, several members had small parts, but two members were background dancers. The music video itself is about how Joe Kwon rose and fell and rose back again in power and their butlers dancing around them. 
it's a bit confusing but also very fun have you seen that music video because literally every comment on that is just like oh my god look at the background dancers who is it who is it but who were the two bts members who appeared as backup dancers i'm the one the right answer is j hope and jungkook the other members featured in this video are jin and uh, kim taehyung who's v who played bodyguards and also sugar who plays a bystander with that let's move on to the next question now what is the name of sugar's music studio hey you don't just become a legendary rapper overnight right and who better to exemplify this than our very own min sugar he spends almost entire days in his lab working on making and perfecting music not just for bts but also as part of his collaborations with artists like lee sora suran and epic high and of course for his alter ego augusty we got a rare glimpse of sugar's music studio during his birthday last year when j hope went to his studio with cake so you remember that uh, video right like he just comes in with the cake and he's like happy birthday and sugar just opens the door a little bit is like oh but anyway what is the name of his studio and the correct answer is genius lab for a genius chang chang man bung bung with that let's move on the next question who said the legendary line you don't know anyong hasseo this dialogue appears in the reality tv show american hustle life which bts were a part of in the show bts are flown from south korea to america where they trained with several musicians and dancers to learn and perfect the art of hip hop their two mentors were tony and nate and in the episode where this dialogue happened they were teaching the boys how to talk to women in order to cast them in their music video of course each member made some very funny lines i'm sure you remember some of them right do you remember uh, sugar's line uh 3 dollars <laughs> but who was the person who said the legendary line you don't know anyong haseo and the answer is jin and here is your next question now which song features the line are you calling me a sinner bts are known for writing some incredibly profound and meaningful lyrics for their music some of my personal favorite lyrics are from songs epiphany and the one i should love that's literally my favorite line <laughs> tomorrow begin young forever and trivia love in fact i feel like all the trivia songs that is just dance and seesaw they are all extremely well written and in a way perfectly defines the member who wrote and performs it and uh, and sometimes you know it becomes extremely difficult to answer the question what is your favorite bts song but you know what the easiest answer to that is all of them <laughs> anyway which song featured the line are you calling me a sinner the answer is stigma sung by kim taehyung in the album wings and with that we are here at the very last question of the day to all the youngsters without dreams is a line from which song the answer is a bit obvious but we are here at the end of the quiz now so i want to take a minute to talk about bts's journey from their hardships as pre debut trainees to debuting to rookies to rising slowly and slowly to albums and music videos to collaborations with international artists to exploding all over the world to delivering speeches at united nations to movies to sold out stadiums to still remaining the seven simple boys who had a dream happy 6th anniversary to bts and to armies and here's to many 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 more but the answer to the question is no more dream which was their debut single and that brings us to the end of our quiz keep supporting the boys and with your love keep streaming their music and if you were able to get a ticket to our live meet up on the 16th i'll see you then i'm also here live on the app tomorrow at 1:30 pm with this week in movies talking about alien movies so don't forget to follow that show and tune in then but congratulations to all the 377 of you who won congratulations but that's all from me now bye bora hai